it's so nice to have you back for story time. Today we're going to read Peppa's first sleepover. Have you ever been on a sleepover? They can make you feel excited or a little bit nervous or even a little bit of both. Let's read about Peppa's first sleepover. Here she is, getting driven in the dark with her bag and her teddy. Peppa is going to her very first sleepover at Zoe Zebra's house. Welcome to my sleepover, Zoe says. I'll pick you up in the morning, Mummy Pig says to Peppa with a kiss. Rebecca Rabbit, Susie Sheep and Emily Elephant are already here. I've got my teddy, Peppa says. Yes, we can see Teddy. Zoe has her monkey. Rebecca has her carrot. Susie has her owl. And Emily has her frog. Don't stay up too late, girls. And don't be too loud. Daddy Zebra has to get up early to deliver the post. Mummy Zebra says as she turns out the lights. Zoe's baby sisters, Zuzu and Zaza, want to join the sleepover too. Sleepovers are only for big girls, Zoe says. The twins begin to cry. They're so sweet and little, Peppa says. Can they stay? Rebecca asks. Okay, Zoe says to the twins, but you must not fall asleep. What should we do first? Susie asks. I'm having piano lessons. Listen. Zoe starts to pound on the keys. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. Mummy Zebra has woken up. Shush! You must be quiet so Daddy Zebra can sleep. Now, into your sleeping bags, please. What do we do now? Peppa asks. At sleepovers, there's always a midnight feast, Zoe says. It's when we eat things, Susie says in a hushed voice. In secret. Shh, Zoe says as she leads the girls to the kitchen. They each grab some delicious fruit, perfect for a midnight feast. The floorboard creaks. Oh no, Mummy Zebra has woken up. You'll wake Daddy Zebra. Now, who knows a bedtime story? The girls take turns. Once upon a time, there was a little fairy, Susie begins. And she lived in the forest, Peppa continues. And the fairy met a big monster who went rah! Emily says with a big elephant trumpet noise. <gasps> Oh dear, the noise has woken Daddy Zebra. Sorry, Daddy, Zoe says. There was a story about a fairy and a scary monster. And we want to know what happens next, Peppa says. Very well, Daddy Zebra sighs. The monster lifted up his great big hairy paws and walked along on his great, big, hairy feet and sang, Twinkle, twinkle, little star, I, I wonder what you are. Daddy Zebra sings gently as 
I think it has the piano. Daddy said the song has sent everyone to sleep. Ah. Uh.